Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new video here on the second channel. And well, we of course have Paradox Rift out right now. We do have some brand new card reveals to take a look at here. Um, and I'm excited to look at them. We got two brand new EXs to look at. All these cards are going to be coming out in the Shiny Treasure EX set, um, which I think is coming out in January. Um, it's going to be releasing in, in Japan on December 1st. So it's coming up soon um, but yeah it's going to be our special set in january this of course does mean we are going to get some shiny cards in the set like we've seen with shining fates and stuff but we do have some new cards to look at here nonetheless some interesting new cards again we got two ex cards that are well we've already gotten exes of these cards already so this is duplicates of a pokemon getting an ex but without further ado we're going to get into it of course if y'all are excited for the video and all that stuff make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe down below if you haven't already we are actually getting close to nine thousand subs here on in the second channel so if you're not yet subscribed here make sure to click that subscribe button down below and let's get into the new card so we do have a brand new fridgy backs it is kind of relevant because of course shen pao is very good right now uh, but the 70 hp fridgy backs we have right here only has a two retreat if we get a 70 hp fridgy backs with a one retreat cost it's going to be very very big but unfortunately this new fridgy backs has a two retreat and 70 hp uh, we do have a new room here and uh, we do have a brand new tool. So, yeah, another technical machine, which is kind of cool. Of course, technical machines are pretty uh, interesting cards right now. Of course, we got some brand new ones in the Paradox Rift set. But we now have even more new technical machines to look at. So, the first one, of course, is going to be the Crisis Shot technical machine. This card is definitely very, very interesting. Of course, it is a tool that does provide an attack for one turn. And it's attack crisis shot does 280 damage and you can only use this attack if your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining so it's a very situational effect obviously your opponent needs to only have the one prize left which means this is only going to be good at the end of the game and your opponent also has to not play around it by you know only taking out one prizers now speaking of one prizers this could be really good in a one prize based deck of course something like lost box could probably play this. Imagine being able to use Crisis Shot with Cramorant. You don't need any energy, I'm pretty sure, for the technical machine. And then you can use Crisis Shot for free. If you're only playing at one prizer, this card would probably work better in a deck where you only have one prize Pokemon. Um, or I guess you can use it in two prize decks because, you know, it depends if you have one prize on the bench. But for the most part, you can only really use it in, like, one prize decks where your opponent's only taking uh, the one prize at a time. Uh, it's not bad by any means. Uh, I've seen some people say you could play it with Radiant Charizard because um, the attack cost would get lessened, and then you have another way for Charizard to do a little bit more damage. It would do 280 instead of 250, so there are some benefits to this card. I don't think it's bad. Um, I don't think it's the greatest technical machine ever, but it is decent at the end of the day, and uh, the effect of doing 280 damage is not bad. 280 damage is a lot of damage. Uh, of course, you can knock out some big stuff with that, so we'll have to see this card sees play. Again, I can see it be uh, be better suited uh, for single prize decks, um, but we'll have to see. We do have some new supporters here. We got Students in Paldea. Search your deck for a Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box. Reveal it and put it in your hand. For each other students of Paldea in your discard pile, you may search your deck for another Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box and put it in your hand. So that's kind of cool. It's a supporter card that does more stuff depending on the amount of the same supporter you have in the discard pile. And I think that's kind of cool. Obviously, there's a lot of Pokemon with attacks that do similar things, but to have it be um, a supporter is kind of cool. So getting a Pokemon is nice. Now, obviously, you can't get any, like, Vs or EXs or anything. You are limited to what this card can grab, which does maybe hurt it a little bit because you're not able to just, like, immediately grab, like, EXs and stuff. But depending on what kind of deck you're playing, there are going to be benefits of being able to get four Pokemon at once. I mean, that is a pretty cool effect um, being able to get like four pokemon at a time with the effect of this could be pretty powerful we'll have to see though the only downside is it doesn't draw you cards right so while it is a cool effect it's not drawing you cards so you have to play four of these in your deck probably alongside a good draw engine like curlia in order to get max value out of this card i don't really know that many decks that could benefit like i guess like united wings is like one deck where you want to put pokemon in your hand to like discard but it's a cool effect i'm not sure it'll see much play though um, but i could be wrong it definitely is an effect that could be something decent down the road um, because again it does have a really cool supporter effect and being able to get like four pokemon at once is pretty crazy so not bad i think that's it here for all the cards from here but we do have of course more new cards to look at um, so of course we got new shiny pokemon and we got another great tusk and iron treads ex we've already had 
we already well we already have iron uh tread zx and a great tusk but we're getting another round of those so we're getting two brand new versions of a great tusk and an iron tread zx and hopefully this time they'll be a little bit better of course the great tusk and iron treads we already have they're not the greatest cards on the planet um, but we do have some new shiny Pokemon coming out. Of course, we're going to be getting a shiny Charmander because why wouldn't we be getting a shiny Charmander? And, of course, we're getting shiny Watchel with United Wings. So United Wings might get a full shiny um, Pokemon, which could be pretty sick. Imagine being able to play a fully uh, full shiny uh, United Wings deck. Hmm. That would be pretty rad. Um, but we can look at some of the new cards here. There's a new Charmeleon, which actually might be the optimal Charmeleon. So it does have 90 HP, but it does have one of the best abilities you could probably give a Stage 1 Pokemon right now. It's got Flare Veil. Prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. Damage is not in effect. So right off the bat, Charmeleon cannot be lost mind, which is... Honestly, kind of crazy. The fact that they printed a Charmeleon that can't be lost mind is pretty good. I mean, Charizard is obviously a very strong archetype, but it does have a pretty awkward weakness to Sableye. But now that there's Charmeleon with the ability where it can't get lost mind, that could be good. This could also be really good with the technical machine evolution. So if you do that, you can just put a bunch of Charmeleons in play with this ability. And all of a sudden, the Sableye is not doing as much work as it could be. So I think that's a pretty cool effect. I think this Charmeleon is actually really good probably going to be the optimal charmeleon i don't think the i don't think the other two charmeleons really make a difference in a lot of the scenarios like i don't think there's much of a difference between playing a charmeleon that can do 70 damage or a difference with a charmeleon that can do like what 100 damage i think the one from pogo does um or 151 i don't know there's three different charmeleons none of them are really like it doesn't really matter i don't think which one you play so it is nice to now have an optimal charmeleon like there's really no reason why you shouldn't just play this one over any other one just because it literally can't be sableyed so really good stuff charizard got a bit of an upgrade i mean there you go all your charizard fanboys are gonna be happy we did get another upgrade to united wings but we didn't get a brand new we didn't get a new united wings attacker we got a pokemon that does united wings attacks but doesn't do damage like United Wings does, if that makes any sense. So it's got United Thunder. Now, Kill a Watchroll, keep in mind, is a Stage 1 Pokemon that does evolve from Watchroll, which is already a United Wingser, and of course got the attack United Thunder, which for a single colorless energy does 10 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each Pokemon in your discard pile that has the United Wings attacks. I was waiting to see if we were going to get another United Wings style card. I feel like it was kind of due. I feel like we were going to get one, right? Because United Wings is a really fun deck to play, but that deck really does come off the crutch of having to hit for weakness with Murkrow a lot of the time, because your damage output is a little flimsy. There's only three Pokemon with United Wings in the deck. So, you know, it's not like Mad Party where there's like four different Mad Partiers. So having another way to do extra damage is cool, but not really doing extra damage. But you are able to do something different with the deck. You're sniping the bench, which, you know, yeah, Wings is just all about damage in the active. Kill the Watchroll breaks that rule and now can damage the bench. Now, obviously, Manaphy does counter Kill the Watchroll. So if you are playing United Wings and your opponent benches a Manaphy, then, okay, rip. Well, you're not going to be able to use the Kill the Watchroll, but... If your opponent does not bench Manaphy against United Wings or you're playing against a deck that doesn't play Manaphy, this Kill the Watch could actually be pretty darn good. Um, being able to knock something out on the bench with Kill the Watch could be good. I mean, in United Wings, you know, if you're not one-shotting something, you're doing like 180 damage and then your opponent moves that Pokemon to the bench, you could just finish it off later on with the Kill the Watch Roll, which could be pretty sick. So I actually like this card. I think it's really cool for United Wings. I could see United Wings maybe playing like two of these. Again, it doesn't have United Wings in its attack cost, so it's not going to apply extra damage for the deck, but it does give you another attack to work with overall, which I think is really cool. So definitely not a bad card by any means. Um, you could, you know, do a lot of cool things with this. I mean, maybe against like Lugia, you can like KO an Archeops if you get to you know the point well actually there's no you can't put 15 united wings in the discard i lied never mind all right <laughs> i lied never mind i was thinking it does 10 20 times it only does 10 times right um so and anyway being able to snipe the bench is really good and i think this is actually going to be a decent upgrade to united wings maybe we'll get even more united wings there's tell this tells me maybe we'll get like another pokemon with united wings as an attack we got a new mime junior now actually cool enough this actually uh the artwork completes an artwork um, picture. There's a bunch of different Pokemons, including the Squovid that puts the one card to the bottom and then you draw a card. Um, it all completes one big picture, but we did get another baby with Mime Jr. I think this is the only baby Pokemon we've been missing. It does have the, um, actually, it does have an attack that it doesn't say on Poke Beach for some reason, um, but it basically, um, I forget what it does. I don't think it's very good. Oh, no. Okay, so it chooses one of your opponent's Pokemon's, or your opponent gets to choose 
one of their attacks in play, and Mime Jr. uses it as this attack. So if your opponent's only attack they have in play is, like, um, you know, Lost Mine, then you effectively do Lost Mine. Um, though you wouldn't do the effect because you, your Lost Mine wouldn't be filled. But if your opponent has, like, a bunch of attacks in play, like an attack that could do 10 damage, they'll just choose that. It is an interesting attack, though, and it could be weird in, like, some scenarios where your opponent's all your opponent's attacks in play can do actual good damage, but I don't know any deck out there that really applies for Mime Jr., so it's probably not that good. All right, time to look at the new EXs. So, of course, we got another great Tusky X. Now, keep in mind, this is an ancient Pokemon, so this card actually does have some benefits because it is an ancient Pokemon. I figured we were going to get a more ancient Pokemon, and we did get a brand new ancient Great Tusk. Now, it does have the ability Quaking Destruction. If this Pokemon is in the active spot, at the end of your turn, discard the top five cards of your deck. Now, that is pretty abysmal. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why they had to give it this ability. I don't know if there's any benefits of milling the top five cards of your deck half the time anyways. Like, even in decks that try to discard certain cards you're never going to want to use that so right off the bat this pokemon has a pretty bad ability but it does have a pretty good attack nonetheless it does have great bash which keep in mind it is a ancient pokemon and a fighting pokemon it does 260 damage and this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active pokemon so it does a nice chunk of damage 260 is kind of mid though i mean you're not gonna you're not knocking out most of the big exes um that are evolving and you're not knocking out um, v stars a lot of the time so honestly i think great tusk unfortunately this is probably going to be a bit mid i think the other great tusk honestly might just be better i mean this one is an ancient pokemon so it does have seda's vitality and ancient booster energy capsule and if we get any other new ancient cards um this card can synergize with it but i don't think it's very good i think the ability is just really bad if it didn't have that ability this would actually be probably decent to be honest like i think it could rival Shan sandy shocks the x is like the better fighting type ancient basic but i don't think that this is a very good card unfortunately um i don't know it just its damage is uh, very limited um well limit i say limited its damage is awkward in some scenarios and of course that ability is atrocious iron treads might be slightly better it is a future pokemon so of course great tusk had to be ancient iron treads is a future pokemon so it does work with the future cards we have access to. So it does have one attack clad rolling that does 150 damage and you may discard a future booster energy capsule from this Pokemon. If you do, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 150 less damage from attacks. That is bananas, bro. 150 less damage from attacks is absurd. Um, obviously we know Gudra's good because Gudra takes 80 less. Imagine taking 150 less because this Pokemon only does have 220 HP and you do have to get rid of the future booster energy cap when you do attach it to the uh, iron treads but there are ways to get tools back there's a gramble that can get them back um yeah there, there are ways to put tools back so if for whatever reason you need to keep spamming this attack there are ways to put tools back into your hand from the discard pile um and i think that's actually gonna make this card a decent little attacker um i guess you're gonna have to power it up with uh something like magnezone i don't think there's any good metal energy excel outside of like magnezone i guess so play with magnezone play like gramble to get the the future boosters back or maybe you can win the game with just four future boosters because being able to take 150 less damage for like four turns in a row could be pretty good i mean you can play this with arvin um to find the tool card easily so you can just go arvin for item plus the future booster capsule put the capsule on i don't think the booster capsule lets you do the 20 damage because you do discard it i could be wrong though um, if you get to do 170 damage, that's actually pretty relevant because, of course, 170 damage against, like, Charizard EX is going to be relevant because you can, like, two-shot it. Because 150 is also kind of awkward damage. So if, of course, the Future Booster Capsule lets you do the 20 damage before you discard it for the effect of the attack, I think this actually could be decent. It's not a bad card. I definitely think, obviously, it's 10 times better than the other Iron Treads we have in the format. This card isn't, like, super busted or anything, but it is a really cool attacker that does have a very powerful effect that can be very annoying because, again, 150 less damage is insane. A lot of the time, this thing will not get one to KO'd unless you're playing against, like, Roin Moon, where they have an effect that can insta-KO you. So, not bad. I definitely think this time around, we got the better, we got a better Iron Treads than Great Tusk, where the other Iron Tusk Great Treads or Iron Treads Great Tusk. I just mixed those words up, my God. Um, the other Great Tusk was better, and the other Iron Treads was worse. So it looks like they kind of flipped it around this time with how good they are. But let me know what you think of these new cars down below. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of them down below. Uh, yeah, I guess as you can see, see the full picture with the Mime Jr., the Squovet. Um, I think it's really cool that they did that. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the uh, new EXs down below. What do you think of the new technical machine down in the comments below? Do you think Great Tusk and Iron Treads are playable? Maybe I'm overlooking 
great tusk and maybe it's better than i thought i don't know let me know if you think this card's actually good with that ability but uh, yeah there you go some new cards and this does mean we are going to maybe hopefully get another united wingser and maybe we'll get even more future and ancient cards in this new set considering we just got new exes that are both ancient and future pokemon but yeah that'll be for me on today's video here on the second channel if you enjoyed the video once again leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and all the good stuff i'll leave a link to pokey beach here so if you want to go read these yourselves and all that good stuff and uh, yeah let me know what you think of the cards down in the comments below and i will see you all on another video here on the second channel soon bye bye